So we're gonna take a trip up to Allegheny National Forest. We're gonna do a little bit of camping, we're gonna hike a little bit, do some fishing, hopefully see some wildlife while we're out. Hey, I'm Rick on the Run. Welcome to my hometown of Pittsburgh. I've been to 40 plus countries, but every time I come home, I appreciate a little bit more. Let's go. The mission is breakfast. It's about 9.30 a.m. Welcome to Pamela's, home of the best pancakes in Pittsburgh and probably the world. So the secret to good pancakes is the consistency of the batter. And Pamela's does an amazing job at making these perfectly little thin, crispy, crepe-like pancakes that just melt in your mouth. It's even become so popular that Barack Obama stops here when he's in town and wants pancakes. I don't know about you, but I ain't got no more room. Nope, not at all. Don't worry, the water's pretty calm. Okay. Have you ever, like, tipped over in a kayak? Never tipped over in a kayak. Okay. Well, this won't happen today either, so. <laughs> we are at Kayak Pittsburgh. We're gonna go out and do some paddling. It's a beautiful day. Her first time in a kayak, so let's hope we don't tip over and get wet. I love this river. I grew up fishing on this river with my dad, catching walleye down by the dam, so super nostalgic place for me. Nothing like a little bit of sugar to get our energy back up. Check these babies out. Thanks to Peace Love and Little Donuts in the Strip District, I'm definitely taking that bacon. We don't even think about this. <laughs> All right, so we're on our way up to Allegheny, headed up into the mountains. As you head north out of Pittsburgh, the forest just kind of gets taller and denser and you start seeing older and bigger trees and the roads get a little windier. It, what makes a really fun camping trip is being prepared, right? I first learned how to camp from my dad and my uncles a long time ago. <laughs> so we would come up here, camp out, go catch fish and cook over the fire. I've been passing on those skills to my friends and especially my girlfriend, who's a little bit more reluctant, but she's coming around to it. Super calm water today. This lake is pretty shallow, so we're gonna fish on top with some bobbers. We got some red worms, which are like a delicacy for fish. They don't get those often. There we go, we got one. There we go. Get them off the water, come on. Hey, good job, look at that. A little fish stick. <laughs> Just let them in. So it's looking like sausages for dinner. We caught a few fish, but nothing really big enough to make a sandwich out of. Sausages are a little bit easier to catch, so that's what's on the menu tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what about the s'mores? Are we gonna have s'mores? We'll have s'mores for breakfast. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Peacefully, actually. I woke up to the birds chirping. It was nice. Good, good. Ready to go get some coffee? Yes, I am, actually. Yeah, let's get this fire started. It's about 7 a.m. We just woke up here at Lolita. S'mores for breakfast, always a good idea. Double stuff was the way to go. Mm -hmm. So the thing that I enjoy most about camping adventures is the solitude and, you know, disconnecting from my devices for a couple of days and really just getting a reset before I head back to the real world. It was nice to disconnect and slow down a little bit from my usual lifestyle. Thanks for coming along. I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you get outside too. Cheers.